right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Come on in, have a seat. Got chairs in the back and come join me for another episode of Coffee and Beats. I am the musical barista Rod the Magnificent and I'm back with another episode of music reviews, album reviews. Got a couple of recommendations for you as far as artists to watch in the future, so stay tuned for that. But before I get into the show, hey, no need for me wasting time. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, hit the bell for notifications, share with your loved ones, because, you know, they want to hear this. You know they do. What am I drinking to get this show started? Well, a little bean world for you. And as you can see, as I zoom closer, this is a churro. Never say churro right. Churro. Is it churro or churro? Let me know in the comment section. This is an excellent flavor. I combined it with none other than the classic Italian sweet creamer from Aldi's. Yes, I'm not a sponsor, but this is one of the go-to creamers for a lot of people. I'm sure a lot of you use this creamer in your coffee, but that is a great combination with the churro bean world recipe and oh you're wondering what is bean world well check out amazon they got plenty of k cups available so do yourself a favor go on there i'm not a sponsor again but check out bean world's coffee cups they have excellent flavors and i'm sure you will appreciate them before i get into some album reviews i want to put out there that i got a mixtape on the way yes writers unblock will be coming out soon but in order to get that you have to download the podcast the coffee and beats podcast and also check out my instagram page rock the magnifs coffee and beats all that information will be down there in the description box below so feel free to check those links out now we're going to get right into it to kick off our first album review we have for you robert glasper Black Radio Volume 3. Now, I've been looking forward to hearing a new Black Radio project from Robert Glasper for a while. This is the much anticipated album. Robert Glasper has a plethora of albums that's out dedicated to his 2011 debut Black Radio release. He's coming back with us with another edition of Black Radio, this time the third volume. Now, if you're not familiar with the Black Radio projects, feel free to check out Black Radio Volume 1, then check out Volume 2, and then gravitate towards Volume 3. But if you just want to hear some good old-fashioned good music, well, you can start at Black Radio 3 because I have no problem with that. Black Radio features 13 songs exceeding a little bit over an hour. A lot of that has to do with the various solo instrumental conclusions to many of the songs by Robert himself. Production wise, Robert is, as always, at the top of his game, starting off strong with a nice instrumental to complement the poetic delivery from featured artists such as Amir Solomon. If I said that right. And speaking of features, this record features an all-star cast with appearances from the likes of Common, DJ the Chicago Kid, Killer Mike, Jennifer Hudson, and also a couple of guest appearances who were on the very first Black Radio album, like Music Soul Chow, Layla Hathaway, no Erica Badu, I wonder why. But with this heavy rotation of co-stars, you'll conclude that this album would be an all-out masterpiece, right? Well, not by much. In the first leg of the album, Glasper hits you with gem after gem after gem with songs like Shine featuring solid appearances from D Smoke and Tiffany Gaucher. This is a very conscious track. Kind of gives me Strange Fruit Project vibes as Robert Glasper puts together an icy, thunderous performance at the end, going on that solo separation from the artist as he likes to do. And it is his signature move. He likes to do that, have his spotlight after each and every performance, which I love it. Musically, it sounds amazing. Hey, take for example, Esperanza with Spalding and Q-Tip, who contributes on the track Why We Speak, with Spalding singing each verse in different languages, showing you her versatility. And I thought this was an excellent combination by Robert Glasper. And again, he concludes it with a nice melody 
to transition into the next song, which is who sounds smoother than butter, glazed over biscuits, as she glides through the laid back track with that tight drums and those hollow haunting piano licks. That song is amazing. And also Layla Hathaway in Common gives a very nice soulful hip hop twist to the pop classic by Tears for Fears everybody wants to rule the world now music soul Chown and pasta news pick up the pace with the upbeat track everybody loves which provides us that signature boom bap sound of music soul chow along with some nice rhymes from pasta news from de la soul and from this point i'm really enjoying this album i'm, I'm taking it all in and then the transition happens from this point on the inconsistencies start to build up with tracks like Heavens Here featuring Ann Clemens, which is, is just okay. Production wise, uh, Glasper took his foot off the gas a little bit, but then slams his foot all the way down on the gas pedal with the overly up tempo track Out of My Mind, which features a watered down version of Spotlight, which uh, features Jennifer Hudson on the track. And, let, let me just put this out there. I'm just going to just vent for a little bit. Jennifer Hudson, in my opinion, has never came out with a very good out. But what she does do best is she knows how to carry her voice in acapella mode. I just love hearing Jennifer Hudson without music. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just that I'm picky when it comes to how I like to listen to Jennifer Hudson. Upbeat, slapstick tracks like this one, I feel like it takes away from her talent. And I, I just couldn't get with the track. Then the Robert Glasper does not stick the landing well with the song Bright Lights featuring Ty Dolla Sign. And I, I just don't think Ty's vocals fit well with Robert Glasper's production on this one. However, Glasper makes up for it with a smooth instrumental closeout to make up for Ty's underwhelming contributions. Overall, I think this was a very well-crafted album by Mr. Glasper himself. I enjoyed this album and I, and I see myself adding the first leg of the songs to my playlist. And you may differ from me in regards how the second half of this project went, but at the end of the day, I give this one a 7 out of 10. I think this album is slightly better than Black Radio 2, but it does not even come close to matching the classic that is Black Radio Volume 1. I think Glasper kind of fell a little bit short on that mark, but otherwise, this is a very enjoyable project, and I'm sure you will enjoy it too. Up next, we got Beach House with their eighth studio album, Once Twice Melody, which features the duo Victoria Grand and also multi instrumentalist Alex Scali or Scaly or Scally or whatever. It rhymes with Cali. It's a double album which consists of 18 songs presented in four rounds of chapters. Okay. The first chapter is entitled Pink Funeral. The second chapter is New Romance. The third chapter is Masquerade. And the fourth and final chapter is Modern Love Stories. Now, this EP was released in sections, rounds off at around an hour and a half. Now, I was introduced to this band by some friends from an old job that I had that I used to work at. They used to bump a lot of different eclectic music and Beach House was one of those artists that came in the conversation. Now, I will admit I wasn't a follower of album after album by this group, but when they do drop some material, I am always intrigued by a few singles that they drop here and there. Now, these collection of songs combines elements of sadness, happiness, heartbreak, and the illusions of love, which can be captivating, but at the same time, heartbreaking. And Beach House takes more bolder steps into their signature sound, but takes a few experimental chances along the way, as some of the elements of the album can be very sensual and other moments can be just downright spacey. Songs such as Sunset, 
feels like I'm walking in, a, in slow motion with my wife on a beach and we're on a tropical island and eventually you see clouds surrounding us and we become invisible to the human eye. Another go around also gives out those same type of vibes. Then there are other moments in the album which provides a more angelic ambient presentation with songs like Hurts to Love, Many Nights, and New Romance which gives, uh, which kind of combines the wavy grooves and with over soft drum kicks in an ambient type of way. Now, if I had to find an issue with this record, it, it, it's not a record that you can listen to all the way through and take it all in at once. I challenge anybody that listens to this record and does not fall asleep. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean that in it's just so ambient and it's just so mellow. Eventually, you're just gonna have to just snap out of it and just go ahead and do something productive and maybe come back and play this album if you're sleepy or something or if you're tired but the positives about this album is that if you have a long work day and you need a nice mellow and, and, and vibrant album to play in the background maybe towards the end of your day without sleeping before it's time to clock out i think this is the perfect album that you can pop in i broke this rating of this album into four sections since it's four chapters I gave the Pink Funeral section of the album a 7 out of 10. I gave the New Romance section of this album a 6 out of 10. Masquerade, a 9 out of 10. And then the final chapter, Modern Love Stories, a 8 out of 10. Which, overall, gives me a grand total of 7.5 out of 10 for this album for Beach House. Beach House, keep doing your thing. They never cease to disappoint as they continue to show why they are one of the best indie rock bands of this generation. Up next, we got Nika, Love Supreme. And this is the fourth studio album from Nigerian pop artist Nika under her own record label. And she's a very versatile artist, touching on topics of freedom, self-worth, love, and unity. This is her first album after a five-year hiatus. And I was introduced to her music about 10 years ago when I stumbled across her video on YouTube for a song called Heartbeat. I, I really haven't followed her albums as a whole. This time, I made sure that I did not miss the bat signal when she released this new project, Love Supreme. Now, this album features 13 songs, clocking in at around 48 minutes. And just to summarize this real short and simple, production-wise, Nika combines rhythm guitars, melodies, along with reggae energy. And songs such as With You, This Life, and T contribute over playful Afro beats which provides us with some nice, smooth grooves. And although it's a lot of politically charged lyricism from Nika's feathery vocal delivery, it can be an acquiring taste for some listeners. Check out the track Maya, which features a very wavy throwback reggae beat, which is gracefully executed. Overall, Love Supreme is a decent experience. Nothing mind-blowing, but nevertheless, there are more highlights than lowlights that will keep your ears tickled. And I give this one a 6.75 out of 10. Nika, keep doing your thing and keep the vibes coming. And don't wait so long in between albums, too. Time to show a little EP love, and that EP love will go to Kroon Ben and Leon Bridges dropping the second to a series of EPs from them and then the first one was Texas Sun this one is Texas Moon and Leon and Kroon Band which consists of band members Laura Lee, funky guitarist Mark Spear and drummer Ray DJ Johnson Jr. collaborate to deliver us their second EP as a follow-up to their 2020 release Texas Sun. Now, if you are not familiar with Chrome Bim, they dropped their first album back in 2015, The Universe Smiles Upon You, which is a nice introduction to the group's style and delivery. They followed up with their 2018 release, Con Todo El Mundo, which was the album that put them on the map. Mostly, this band is instrumental, but they decided to add more vocals to their third project, Mordecai, which we find Laura Lee providing smooth vocals and giving us an elegant 
and funky experience. Leon Bridges, on the other hand, needs no introduction. Similar to Kroombian, he dropped his debut back in 2015, which was the Grammy-nominated studio album, his excellent debut, Coming Home. And then he followed up by the 2018's release, Good Thing, which I personally think is his best project, and last year's Gold Diggers sound, which was Eh, it was all right. With this second collaboration, we find the pair diving into a more empowering performance on both sides. Sonically, Kumbin goes back to the basics, tapping into their inner contoto roots with the opening track, Doris. Clearly, Laura steals the show here with her breathtaking background vocals, along with the smooth melodies from Leon on the track. Although this song is very restful, it's catchy, and it's also very engaging. Now, later, they pick up the pace with the track B-Size, which has the same soulful sounds that are similar to Kroon Ben's lead single off the Mordecai album, Time. Now, Chocolate Oil is a soothing romantic ballad from Leon with nice, balanced guitar riffs from Mark Spear. And then Father Father is a touching song of regret, forgiveness, and redemption over a nice, slow, melodic beat and tight drums by DJ. And the last track, Mariella, is a nice and warm way to close out this EP. Overall, this was an excellent follow-up to Texas Sun, and I would have to say, I felt this EP is slightly better than Texas Sun due to the fact that I think that they are more comfortable with each other. I think they were trying to figure each other out with Texas Sun. Here, we, we see that they sounded more like they were marinated as a group and we got a more soothing experience and got a more signature Texas sound from Kroombin and Leon Bridges. I give this one an excellent out of 10. I do not put number ratings on EP. So all you have to do is just sit back, relax your mind to the wonderful sounds of Texas Moon and thank me later. Before I close the show out, I would like to spotlight a couple of artists to be on the lookout for. And the first artist I would like to spotlight, she's turning into a legend very quickly. And her name is Tisha, and she's opened up for a lot of big bands all over the world. Also, most notably, Disclosure. And if you are a fan of groups like Disclosure, you will really like Tisha's discography. So far, she's only dropped one EP, and the name of that EP is called Only L, and that came out last year. It features one of my favorite tracks from last year, Power which I also featured on one of my mixtapes. She has a new album dropping later on this year. I will definitely be reviewing that on the channel. Check her out if you're a huge house fan like myself. Last but not least, I also want to draw attention to a single that just dropped last week. It's by this group called Say She She, and they are from Brooklyn, and they are a female-led eight-piece band. Now, the lead vocalists are Naya Parker, Gazelle, Paya Malik, and Sabrina Cunningham. And these three girls just dropped a video for the song Forget Me Not, and it's not a remake of the Forget Me Not by Patrice Russian. This is their own sound. It's very vintage. It's very like late 70s, early 80s type vibes here and their vocals, the harmonies just the crispiness of the production on this track blew me away and I'm so glad that I have found out about this band early because this is the only single that's available right now on streaming platforms now if they have more music I'll definitely be putting it out there for you but I just wanted to draw attention to this group and you heard it here first on coffee beats and that will do it for another episode of coffee and beats i am your musical barista rod the magnificent again if you want more information on podcasts if you want more information on new episodes that are coming new mixtapes that are dropping click all the links in the description below so you can keep up with all the latest that i'll be dropping on this channel i'm your musical barista rod the magnificent and when it comes to coffee comes to music, stay grounded for life. I will see you on the next one. Peace.